I love the Oscars because I'm a big fashion girl. I like to see what everyone's wearing. I like to see who wins. I feel like I'm more immersed in the Oscars this year than ever. I feel like I know like what movies are actually nominated. I've seen a lot of them, meaning one. That really just warmed my little soul up. It's Oscar weekend and I'm very excited. So we're gonna take a look back at some past Oscar looks. So Brad is nominated for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, which I'm very excited about. And in 1996, there was a world in which Brad Pitt and Gwyneth Paltrow went together to the Oscars. I'm so happy they dated. Gwyneth does a slip dress like nobody else. She's like model-esque. Oh, the big open collar. This is like the worst sort of year for fashion, right? Like that's the comeback that's not coming back. I've Googled like a gazillion photos of JFK Jr. and Carolyn Bissett. I've Googled Jen and Brad. I have never Googled Brad and Gwyneth and I'm a massive of Gwyneth fan. So I'm gonna start doing that later when I have nothing to do and I should be napping. Scarlett Johansson 2004. I love Alberta Ferretti. I think she has beautiful things. I have some pieces from her that I've gotten from my mom and things I've gotten for myself and it's stuff that holds up and lasts and I feel like everything I have sort of looks like that. I love this dress on her. I love the color on her. I feel like it's almost ahead of its time. It was really sort of sophisticated for her to choose that. I like sort of blonde like bombshell old Hollywood hair. First of all she's been killing it on the red carpet. She's looked Beautiful. I think she's gonna wow us. I wish that Jennifer Lopez made an appearance on the carpet just to see what she would wear, but I, I don't think that she's gonna make the time, but I wish she would. My favorite Jennifer Lopez Oscars look by far is 2015 in Ely Saab. This was perfection. She looks so beautiful. It's so elegant, but it's still very sexy. It has a sort of performer-esque vibe. It looks like she's wearing a bejeweled bodysuit that she would wear on stage. This is kind of how I wanna see J-Lo look. This is like the best version of her because it sort of embodies everything that she is. Okay, so another person I would love to see is Lupita Nyong'o. I mean, the powder blue custom-made Prada dress with the headband, I was like, excuse me, perfection. I love that color. It looks good on everybody. It's like a very good color to wear. So I would love to see what she wears because she always is a good time. I like 2000 for Renee and her Carolina dress. I love it. I think it's beautiful. I like the sort of bodice of the dress. I feel like that's that's a dress that you wear to the Oscars. If you can wear that dress to the Oscars, you should. And I love a matching shoe. I love a matching shoe in color and in fabric. It just elevates the look. I mean, Renee's gonna win and she's gonna get up there and be like, thank you, darlings. Yes, I saw Judy. Oh. When Billy Porter walked in to last year's Oscars in that Christian Siriano moment, this is what I wanted to get married in. I would do it with a bow tie. It was so beautiful and so dramatic, but not over the top and not in a trying hard way. It wasn't tacky. It was truly like a man in a beautiful sort of outfit that was like a dress. Stunning. I haven't seen this done as well as he did it ever. I don't think it's ever gonna be repeated. Charlize Theron in the powder blue Christian Dior dress for 2019's Oscars. It was one of those looks that you really weren't sure how you felt about it for a long time. And ultimately I ended up really liking it because it's very dramatic. I absolutely love that shade of blue. It's that sort of powdery Cinderella blue that's just so fresh and gorgeous. I love when people wear necklaces over their dress and I love this sort of pop of lip on it. And she's so statuesque. I think it really did work, but I also can see why people found it jarring and off-putting. Sir Sharon in 2008, Alberta Ferretti. First of all, I love the green color and I think it's an appropriate, sweet, but sophisticated dress for the age that she was, right? Which I think is hard to do, but you know, really looks fun. good. Regina King is presenting, which is fun. We love Regina King. Last year she wore a white Oscar de la Renta dress. I mean, gorgeous, so beautiful. I mean, I love a white dress and a white shoe. It's so fresh. So I hope my queen, Kate, shows up and gives us a fashion moment. I was obsessed with her in 2005. Valentino, yellow sort of chartreuse dress with the one shoulder sort of Grecian-esque style with like the longer train and the like Marilyn Monroe hair. I mean, she kills it all the time, but I love when she sort of a little bit softer and does more pastel colors. And then she did those sort of like brown chocolate burgundy belt, which is not something that most people would put together, but those colors together are so beautiful. I think the Oscars is like the Hollywood prom. People don't f around. Like they spend months and months and months narrowing down what they're gonna wear. There's nothing better than hitting it out of the park. It's the worst when you just doesn't work out. Fine is my least favorite word. I'd rather look like dog or gorgeous. I don't wanna look fine. You look fine? Huh? What does that mean? Fine means like you like pass your driving test sort of. There is a brand new episode of Necessary Realness every Saturday, so make sure you what? Subscribe, subscribe, okay? Did I say subscribe? Don't forget to do that, subscribe. And make sure you check out all of the other videos on the E! News YouTube channel because they are all fabulous.